Welcome into the 49ers Report by Chat Sports. I am your host, Chase Senior. Kyle Shanahan just got done speaking with the media, and he gave us a Jimmy Garoppolo injury update. There is a chance that Jimmy G is the starter for the Niners on Sunday at Levi Stadium against the Houston Texans, although it seems more likely he could be back in Week 18 against the Los Angeles Rams to round out the year. Let's get you caught up with everything going down on the Jimmy Garoppolo injury front. So this is what Kyle Shanahan had to say to the media, quote, I've been told Jimmy Garoppolo does not need surgery right now. To clear that up, sprain is the way that it was warded to me. He has a grade three sprain. The reason why they never mentioned to me a fracture is it doesn't have much to do with the sprain. It pulled off a piece of the bone on his throwing hand. The trainers are taking him out right now to practice to see what he can do and he could be limited today. And if not, we'll try again tomorrow. David Lombardi of The Athletic on the ground in Santa Clara saying this. Shanahan said Jimmy Garoppolo's injury is not like the one Drew Brees suffered because his thumb bone is stable. He does not need surgery because of this and therefore has a chance to play this week versus Houston, but the chance is bigger week 18 against the Los Angeles Rams. So to summarize all of this, Garoppolo does not need surgery on that thumb on his throwing hand, which hampered him starting in the second quarter of that bad Thursday night football loss to the Tennessee Titans. The bone chipped off when the ligament then tore. Now, Garoppolo today, as we talked about, could be a limited participant, and he does have a chance to play on Sunday. Coming up a little bit later in a few minutes, Garoppolo explained what happened with that injury and talked about the injury that he did suffer, which kind of resulted in the Niners offense kind of stalling out after they had a really dominant first quarter against Tennessee. This is why you subscribe to the channel, Niner Gang, because when big news like this happens, we have you covered with a video within the hour. I'm listening to Kyle Shanahan speak. He got done talking to the media. What do we do? We churn out a video, and that's a big reason why we are quickly approaching 50,000 subscribers as the largest 49ers news and rumors channel on YouTube. We're doing things that no other channel is doing, so hit that red subscribe button down below and be a member of the faithful family here at Chat Sports. It also sounds as though Garoppolo avoided serious injury. Now, oftentimes when quarterbacks suffer injuries to any of their fingers, especially that thumb, it's when they contact a defender's helmet. That's not what happened when Garoppolo got sacked by Danico Autry. Now, Narav Pandaya is a doctor in the Bay Area, and he explained what would have happened if Garoppolo needed surgery. He could have been lost for the year. Of course, we don't know if that's the indication yet. It just seems as though that's not going to be the case. Dr. Narav saying this, quote, what can happen a lot of times with these ligaments is that the ligament can be stretching, and if there's a lot of force, it can actually pull a piece of the bone off. That's what happened with Garoppolo. For Jimmy moving forward, he continued, if there is damage to both of those structures, the ligament and the bone, that can definitely be more of a five to six week recovery time with the likelihood of probably needing surgery. Of course, the big takeaway from that assessment from Narab is that Garoppolo does not need surgery. At least that is the indication right now as we react to this in a breaking news situation. I'll tell you this. I know the Houston Texans are a bad football team. I can't believe that they went with Caldwell as their coach. I don't think he's a very good head coach. Now, they're coming off that win against the Los Angeles Chargers, and throughout this year, they have been a frisky team. Uh, David Culley, excuse me. But here's the thing. Garoppolo is already a limited quarterback with an average to above average arm. And when you have any type of injury to that thumb, you're unable to grip the football. You can't drive the ball like you usually do. And we see oftentimes that Garoppolo's accuracy does wane, and that leads to him throwing the football a little bit high. So what happens with Garoppolo if this thumb injury is still kind of lingering and affecting him to a certain degree? I worry about this Niners offense against a Texans team that has shown this year they can pull off the upset and shock a lot of people. Faithful, your opportunity to kind of chime in, sound off on this subject matter, and let me know and the Niner gang know who you want to start on Sunday against Houston. 
Type JG for Jimmy Garoppolo. If you want to see the rookie stud in Trey Lance, who, according to Kyle Shanahan and some players, has really been tearing the defense up during practice, then type your TL. Now, going into this matchup on Sunday, the Niners are 13-point favorites. There's no over-under set right now because Vegas and the odds makers don't know who the starting quarterback for San Francisco is going to be. But because the Niners are one of the hottest teams in the NFL, having won five of seven games, going up against a down Texans team, hey, that's why the Niners are almost two touchdown favorites. So if you want to bet on San Francisco or cover uh, take, uh, take Houston excuse me, to cover, you can get a 125% deposit bonus by going to chatsports.com slash 49bet and enter the promo code Niners125. More takeaways and notes from this Kyle Shanahan press conference. Week 17 seems unlikely for Garoppolo. Week 18 seems more likely for him to return to the field. It looks as though right now, as we stand here on this Wednesday afternoon, he's not going to be lost at least for the rest of the year. Of course, that is the takeaway right now. Now, Garoppolo also did speak with the media and said, quote, there is definitely a chance that he can play. He did have to change his throwing style to kind of compensate with that injury on Thursday. And look, I'm not looking to make excuses for Jimmy Garoppolo. I have praised him when he's played well. I've ripped him when he's played poorly. And I understand that some of the fan base really likes him. The other side of the fan base hates him. But there's no question he was affected at least to a certain degree with this injury on Thursday night. And that's why he missed some of those throws. That down the sideline throw to Kyle Juszczyk in which he threw the ball out of bounds. He overthrew Debo Samuel. First play of that third quarter led to the interception. And all of these were massive missed opportunities. I'm not making mistakes for the dude, but thumb injuries for quarterbacks are definitely problematic. As for how the injury happened, this is what Garoppolo kind of explained. Danico Autry hip tossed me with my thumb and then I landed on my thumb on top of that. So it's a perfect storm for that thumb injury. And if you take a look back at that play, you saw it was kind of a borderline dirty play in today's NFL, at least because Autry did kind of toss him to the ground in WWE style. We didn't hear about this Garoppolo injury after the game from either him or from Kyle Shanahan. Garoppolo did touch on that as well, saying, quote, that's just not me. Even when it happened on the sideline, I tried to be low key about it. It's not me, it's about the team. As cliche as it sounds, that's how I play. Okay, and that right there was a pretty cliche quote. Yesterday on the show, I talked about the guide for Trey Lance to succeed if he is the starter, and we're not ruling out the possibility of Lance starting this game on Sunday. And in fact, I think it'd be great reps and experience for him to start in a game with a lot of pressure and playoff implications, I want Kyle Shanahan to do all of these things and basically have a vastly different game plan than what he had for Trey Lance against the Arizona Cardinals in his first career start. Have trust in Lance as a thrower. Let him drop back and just let it rip without having to think too much. Get creative with the run game and utilize Lance as a runner, but also allow that threat to keep the defense on its heels and use that outside zone scheme with some creativity because opposing defenses don't really know how this offense can work with Lance and the running backs in the backfield in addition to, in addition to Juice and Kyle Juszczyk. Utilize play action off the run. That's another way where you can take some shots downfield and give Lance some easy throws and reads. Quick, easy through throws to boost his confidence. Going to be imperative for sure if Lance does get this start. And at the end of the day, you have one of the best trio of weapons in the National Football League with George Kittle, Debo Samuel, and Brandon Ayuk. So find creative ways to get them the ball and let Trey Lance know, hey, we got seam balls to Kittle. We have crossers to Debo, maybe some jet sweeps and bubble screens to both Debo and Ayuk. Let's see what this offense can look like and see it unlock a different dimension with Lance as the starter if he does start this game on Sunday. Speaking of Sunday's game, prediction time in the comments section. Who you got? H-O-U for Houston, SF for the Niners. We're going to be doing a watch party for it here on the channel, so make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below and join us on Sunday.